ഹായ് ഗൈസ് വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു കോഡ് സ്വിച്ച് സോ ലെറ്റ്സ് ഡിസ്കസ് വാട്ട് ഇസ് എ ഈൽഡ് കീവേഡ് ഇൻ സീഷ So we have two preconditions. The yield keyword can only be used with an enumerable variable. That means anything that implements i enumerable like arrays or list or something. Also we can we can't have in ref or out in the declaration. So if you don't know what that is, you can watch this video. Now, so we have two major use for yield. One is custom iteration. So let's discuss what exactly is custom iteration. So now I have a program here with a list of cards and the, when the program starts I am filling it with five cards BMW Audi Porsche McLaren and Benz right now once you have iterated the car list I am printing out the name of the car here right as you can see it's using a phone so let's try to run this program as you can see we get the items that we added to the list right now we have to display only cars that starts with the letter B that is BMW and Benz so as every developer do we create a new function to filter the result so let's create a new static function public static i enumerable of string filter let's let's name the function as filter and now in this function we need a temporary list to process our request right so let's create a temporary list temporary list of string let's name it temp and create a temporary list now once we have the temporary list let's iterate through the car list and once we found that if the car filter starts with b then we need to add that item into the temporary list right so now we are in the loop now check whether the car that we got has starting with the letter b dot starts with the letter b so if it starts with the letter b what we need to do is we need to add that specific car to the temporary list that we created so temp dot add that specific car and this we are checking in the if condition now similarly we go through each item in the for each loop once we get out of the for each loop we are returning that temporary list now on the top as well on the calling function also instead of calling this cars list we need to call the filter function now let's try to run this program and see how, what we are getting all right as expected we are getting the cars that start with b but what's the problem here here if you look at here we are using a separate list a temporary list to do this so how can we eliminate that let's remove this using the yield keyword here instead of adding the temp item into the list we can yield return this item we can call yield return car right so there is no other change in the code right now let's see what it exactly doing in the background when we call the yield function so let's go to the internal working so we have the main function over here this main function is called in the filter function and in the filter function we have a for each loop so once the first item is it got b and w it finds that okay it is start with b it go back to the main function using an yield return and after it process it come back to the for each loop again and take the another another item from the for each so this is what actually happens in the work now let's discuss about stateful iteration now let's take a program as you can see here i have a list of numbers on the program loads i am filling the numbers 1 2 3 4 5 but what i want is to print the sum of the previous numbers one by one so i create another filter function like this like we did before so here i am creating a public static i enumerable of integer and naming it the fun function filter all right and here i am declaring a sum variable and setting its initial value to zero okay then i am iterating the numbers so once i get the number i am adding the number to the sum and yield returning it so here i get the number now i am adding this number to the sum so sum equals sum plus number all right now once i get the sum value what i am doing is i am yield returning the item right so let's call the yield return sum right now let's call this filter function over here and try to run the program Let's take put a debugger over here inside the function, inside the loop, and let's try to run the program. Now, in order to understand why it is stateful iteration, let's see this. So, here you can see that the sum variable is set to zero, right? And I got the first number one. So I am adding zero plus one, and I am yield returning the result one back to the function. All right. So I am printing one. Then, since we are using yield return, the function again come back to the loop. this time the variable sum is not zero its value is preserved so variable sum is now 1 right variable sum is now 1 
and you can see that sum is 1 and we are adding the number 2 so it again goes like this the variable sum will never change until the end of the function so let's try to run the program and see the total output as you can see 1 3 6 10 15 right so what exactly happened here so why the int sum variable not set back to 0 its initial value why why it is not happened and the answer is we declared the sum variable in the start of the filter function right but yield actually travels back and forth the caller function and the loop it won't reinitialize the sum variable to zero as the control resumes within the loop again and not again from the start of the function it goes back from loop to the caller function and it didn't reinitialize the variable and didn't start from the start of the function so that's what it is called stateful iteration